I used this leave-in moisturizer when I was growing my hair out to waist length. This moisturizer consists of simple ingredients that are very powerful and deeply moisturizing for your hair. I would spray my hair with water and then apply the moisturizer and then braid my hair up. I would leave my hair braided for two weeks and then repeat the process. Let's get started. Make sure you are starting with freshly washed aloe vera leaves. The first step, we are prepping our aloe so that we can extract the gel. Aloe vera is a staple ingredient in most deep moisturizing leave-in conditioner, as well as shampoos and conditioners that you wash out. You want to remove the toxins from the aloe vera. This is the thick yellow latex that is found within the leaves. So I'm just making sure that I soak the aloe vera leaves. You can see some of that latex coming out and that's probably also some of the gel, but it's mixed with the latex as well. So you wanna soak this in the water. You wanna soak the aloe leaves in the water for at least an hour. And I'm just making sure that the aloe leaves are submerged. And once all of the latex has been drained, you want to get rid of the water that had the latex in it and just give the aloe another rinse. And now you're ready to extract the filet. And when I say filet, I mean this inner layer right here. This is the layer that contains that gel that we desire. So I researched this years ago and also looking at other YouTubers when I was growing out my hair, that aloe vera is tremendously nutrient rich for your scalp and your hair. And so what I would do is always incorporate aloe juice or aloe gel throughout my scalp and on my hair. Aloe vera is deeply moisturizing and hydrating to your hair strands. It is also can, can also be used as a cleansing agent on your scalp. And so many times I would just put the thick aloe gel on my scalp and then massage my scalp and then rinse. And there are other times that I would have the aloe vera juice or the aloe vera gel and just spray it directly into my scalp, massage, and then leave that in. What I noticed is that I really started seeing tremendous hair growth and length retention using my simple aloe methods. I learned that my hair grew the fastest and I retained the most length with the most basic, simple hair regimen. And that's the thing, in order for your hair to thrive, you don't have to really do too much. I always say less is more. The, the more simple the regimen is, most likely the better. And also focus on using natural products. That will help you go a long way on your hair growth journey. A lot of times we don't realize it, but the products that we are using, whether it's shampoo, hair treatments, hair sprays, it's actually drying and counteractive to your hair length journey. Really start to pay attention to the ingredients that are in certain hair products. Now we are adding our aloe pieces to a blender and we are only blending for a few seconds because we want the texture to still have a slimy consistency. So you'll see, you can see here as I'm extracting the aloe gel, the gel is not watery. You see how it's still very thick and stringy. So this is what we are looking for here. We want to keep this intact. We want the gel to look, to have this consistency. With this consistency, I find that the conditioner lasts longer. So it keeps your hair moisturized for a longer time. I'm thinking maybe because it actually binds to your hair better versus having the mixture watery so do you see how thick and luxurious this mix is this is the type of texture that we are going for it almost kind of looks like flax gel now when i make scalp spray i do have the consistency very watery but that's completely different product okay so to make this wonderful leave-in moisturizer we are going to start by doing the double boiler method and you see i'm just setting down a metal container and I'm putting my shea butter. I will have the description of the ingredients below in the comments. 
So you want to make sure that your shea butter is melted and I am now adding my emulsifier and I use Olive M1000. And so what I did here was I turned down the heat and now I am adding some avocado oil and I'm just making sure that that is mixed in well. And now I am adding my castor oil and remember the heat is now on low because you do not want to, and when I say low, it's like 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And now what we are going to do, we are adding our thick aloe gel, but remember the temperature is at around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. You wanna make sure that the oils, so the oil phase, that's the emulsifier, as well as all of our oils, you wanna make sure that that is around the same temperature as your aloe. So we essentially warmed both phases the water phase as well as the oil phase and so i just did the emulsification and i made sure i poured the aloe slowly into the oil mixture while i was emulsifying the mix and so you get this creamy moisturizer which literally this will keep your hair moisturized for longer than one week and so right now you see my hair is freshly washed, no product is added in, and this is my texture, and it does look a little dry because again, nothing, there's no product in it. This is just my bare hair, and now I am going to spray some water on my hair. So I'm essentially showing you the steps that I do to lock in moisture in my hair for at least 10 days. So I'm making sure that my hair is coated well, with water so once my hair is fully coated with water i then take this luxurious cream and i am applying it rather generously to my hair strands making sure to coat every hair strand if you've gotten this far and you enjoy the video please like subscribe comment and share i would greatly appreciate that and i really enjoy creating these wonderful valuable videos to you guys okay so as you see i pretty much have coated my hair this is my bang piece this is about 14 inches and so i'm coating my hair completely with my leave-in moisturizer just making sure that everything is worked in well and sorry i had to cut the video short but basically what i do is i apply the leave-in conditioner and then i will braid my hair i'll leave it for two weeks and then i would repeat and that is how i grew my hair to waist length doing this simple regimen and you can further seal the ends of your hair with flax gel or aloe avocado gel i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye